I knew that, you know, if I, if I didn't do what I wanted to do, if I didn't give it at least a try, that by the time I was 40, I would have a complete meltdown. And I, so I should just go ahead and, you know, cast my fate to the wind, as it were. The goal of the band was always to be popular, to be played on the radio, to be a success. But the, all those things come in steps. Initially, you could see things were growing early on with the acceptance of the band uh, from the, the beginnings at CBGB to the first tour that we did with David Bowie and Iggy Pop. On their first album, to be honest, I don't remember thinking that they were too accomplished. It sounded kind of amateur and kind of, sometimes it'd be like, <laughs> she'd hit a clunker, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and you, oh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that great. It was very anti-commercial when it first came out. The stuff, I mean, now you know that some of the songs now are, considered very commercial, but when they first came out, there was still a lot of resistance. They are a really fun band, but so much more than that, and so much deeper. The first two Blondie records were really exciting. They were mixing pop elements, there were girl group elements, edgier things that we tend to isolate and call punk. But again, punk wasn't one thing. But what Blondie brought in was this 60s, pop and garage band elements together. The girl songs back then were usually uh, about um, having a broken heart, really. And I, I think that uh, in the 70s, we sort of said, okay, you know, our hearts are broken, but our, you know, other things aren't. <laughs> I admire their tenacity. I admire that they were one of the first bands from our sort of crew to break through and get out there and have mainstream success and not change who they are at their core. They have so many indelible songs. And when you actually sit down and look at their catalog, you realize, wow, it wasn't just singles. There's plenty of people that don't know who Blondie are, and there's plenty of people that don't know who the Beatles are. And I don't know who Justin Bieber is. Is that guy something? I don't know. Who is that guy?